Uh, yeah, of course. Um, I'm from Aberystwyth or Aber Aberaeron. Um, in a very rural area, uh, rural family, uh, well brought up, and um, yeah, I've been chasing sheep for the past 18 years before I came here. Um, and yes, it's, it's, it's gave me a chance to be grounded. Um, I've been very, very fortunate to have a mother and father who very looked after me, um, keep me grounded as, as I have. And uh, yeah, somehow we've uh, we've somehow got to Europa League, both of us. It's unbelievable. Um, I, ca I can't ask for any more for them, to be honest. Um, I call them kind of silly at times and idiots at times for travelling all, all the time, but you know, mum and dad, they love it uh, when they're free. Um, every, every game, home or away, wherever it is, they, they'll be there. Um, and it's, it's, a great, it's a great support for myself, but I think the boys appreciate it as well. It's not just me, I think. Um, I think the boys appreciate my mother and father coming, coming down or going up to watch the games. And I think they've got the right, real nice connection with the club. Um, and, and the boys? Yeah, I'd probably say so. It's from a very young age. I've had to be hard working. I've had to just accept it and get on with it. Um, it's not just a lesson I've learned from football. It's through a life lesson as well. Um, so obviously I'm grateful for that, but it wasn't for me. And that's why I've come down, down to Cardiff to obviously try and start a different career uh, in a different pathway. And like Emily said, I would never have thought it would have ended up playing in the Europa League. I think I've been very fortunate really to have the chance to play for Penrith um, under Gary and Freddie there at Penrith and they've been fantastic to me. Uh, they brought me in at 17 from the academy at Aberystwyth um, and they've really taught me how to be a man in the game. Um, and I think they've developed me massively, not technically I'd say, but more as a, uh, more as a kind of robust centre-half. Um, I'm still struggling with that technical side, um, as I'm sure you'll wait around seeing training. Um, but no, it's, it's, been, it's been great. Um, I think having the grounding that we've had, um, both of us from, from rural areas, it's, it's, it's been great in coming here. You know, for us, it's a massive city. Maybe for others, it's only a small city. Um, and it, and it's, it's, some, it's something we, we look to achieve. And of course, it wasn't, both wasn't for us, I guess, farming, hard work, but we've got the hard work in us. Um, as, <coughs> as, I, as I know, Will goes home, works hard. I, I'll go home and I work hard as well. We haven't got a choice. If we don't work hard, we won't have, we won't have any food on the table. So. Um, no, it's, it's been great, um, and coming here has been, it's been fantastic, and it's, and, it, and it's hopefully end up in a good result in Europe. For me, it was, it was one of them, not many people from my area really branch out of the farming background, normally stay in the same cliques, like I'll go home, nothing really would have changed, people just got older. Whereas down here, obviously I come as a fresher at Cardiff Met, and four years down the line, we're into Europa League, and they're, they're the things that I... That what I wanted to do rather than stay at home and be in that clique and stay around it I wanted to branch out and like you said there's lots of universities down here um, thankfully enough I, I chose the right one and coming to Cardiff Met. I think it's a huge jump from where we are um, but I think it's a massive achievement um, as it's sunk in not too sure uh, but it's got to sink in soon because we're off to Luxembourg um, we haven't got a choice um, I think the preparation's going well it's nice knowing um, our opponents so we can plan for it I'm sure we'll play six at the back now, knowing Swanee and Taff, but um, nah, it should be great fun. Um, it's a great achievement as a club, great achievement from as players and coaching staff, but as an university, they've got to be proud as well. And it's like you said, this this media day wouldn't happen without us. Um, you know, you, you wouldn't see yourself, BBC, ITV, Sky Sports coming down to Cardiff Met just for the sake of it, um, and that's because of the football club. Um, possibly, I think um, the experience of big games is different. Um, but realistically, it's it's playing here with you, with your mates. There's nothing more prouder. Um, there's you know it's an European campaign with with your best with the with best best group of lads you you, you could ask for. Um, yeah, Wales. It was a huge experience, a massive honour to mine, um, and I'll never forget that. Um, however, yeah, of course, it's given me a great experience for it. Uh, now we've got to move on. It's going to be a huge, huge task against um, against Luxembourg, and uh, hopefully we can achieve something. Yeah, obviously you've got to keep looking forward. Um, I think you said earlier is that your end goal with the Europa League. I don't think it's it's our end. Me personally, it'd be a great achievement for me to get into that. Um, so I'm still young. I don't think I've warranted a place just yet, but hopefully this season with a little bit of experience in the Europa League, start to mould myself into a Wales C player, and that that's that's the ideal outcome. Um, but obviously we've got to take every game as it comes from the Europa League starting into the season, um, just take it step by step. I'm not really looking too far ahead just yet, um, but obviously it's something that's in the back of your mind, but you've just got to put it away for now. Um, from from an eight, uh, uh, when I was 18, maybe maybe so. I just thought three years and I'll probably do something else. Um, but looking back at it now and, you know, done my Masters, I want to stay. Um, not, that's not because of the football. Um, I see a career path now. Um, like Will said earlier, I don't want to go home, run around, you know, moving dirt on the, on the floor and you know, chasing after cows and sheep. I don't want to do that. Um, and I've been lucky enough to have mum and dad support me through it. 
um, and I see a career in, in maybe ac academia, whether that's here at Cardiff Met or elsewhere. So I don't see myself um, here for the football. Um, yes, it's a great asset, but I'm here for, for, the, for the academic side of things and as a, as a career path. And I think as we all are. Um, I think a lot of people forget the fact that we're, we're, a, we're a student athlete first, where of course the, the athletic side of things out there has been fantastic, but at the end of the day we're, we're students um, and we're here for a, for, a, for a proper career in a way um, and hopefully it's a long way to continue. I think, I think Swanee uh, alluded to it earlier about how they don't really know much about us, so as much as we can concentrate on them, we can talk about them and what they've done. Um, I think our main focus is to focus on us and what we do. Um, if we attack it right in the, in the way we know we can and the way we should, I mean, maybe we might surprise them a little bit. They might see us as minnows from Cardiff Met, a university side. Um, so they, they'll be maybe relaxed, more relaxed and, and than facing another team. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's a great experience for everyone involved. Um, we'll definitely give it our best shot. Um, and we've just got to focus on us rather than them. Do you feel the same as well? Um, of course, you know, you've got your, your names. There's a lad who, sco who scored last night or the night before two goals for, for Armenia versus Greece. Um, so th they've got the names. But, you know, it, like, like Will said, we've got to concentrate on ourselves. If we, if we don't go out, go out there, prepare right, go out there and do the job that we think we can do, then there's no point turning up, is there? There's no point. We may as well give them the game now. So, yeah, we've got to show them the utmost respect. But I think we've got to respect ourselves. We've got them here uh, for a reason. Um, we're no mugs. Um, but we know we're, we're not maybe a, a level where they are. But over two legs is a possibility that we could uh, we could achieve something.